Majority of them are from south and west off to the north and east, continuing to slide to the east as the weak cold front slides through as well. We're going to stick with the cloud cover tomorrow. A lot of it will be filtered sunshine to start mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon overcast as the rain starts to move in Tuesday evening, and that's associated with barrel. We'll get to that in just a second for now. Here's our views with some cumulus clouds that have shown signs of redeveloping here with the instability in the atmosphere. Turned into quite the humid day as temperatures in Grand Rapids even getting up to around 82, 83 degrees. We stand right now at 82 in the city, 86 in uh, Kalamazoo, feeling like near 90 there. But notice Allegan where the rain swept through back to 76. Holland just at 73. Uh, Big Rapids though at 82 degrees as well. Dew points in the upper 60s near 70. Again, this is when we have a lot of a moisture in the atmosphere, a lot of thicker air. It doesn't take much to break a sweat out there here today. And our temperatures overnight tonight are going to stay in the mid to upper 60s. So it's a mild one ahead, even with a few scattered showers and storms. I think most of them, though, will end by around midnight. All right, back to barrel and where there's a lot of tornado warnings within this system, severe thunderstorm warnings as well, and extensive, extensive rain. So let's put a track on this moving up into the Midwest region by the time we get to Tuesday evening. This is Tuesday, 4 p.m. There's those showers that we're expecting to see in our southern half of communities. And then as we carry on through Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, the heavy rain may be cutting right through the state. You could say from uh, Baton Harbor up to Grand Rapids and then towards Saginaw off to the south and east is where the heaviest rain could be. Models have been pretty consistent on that now for about the last 24 to 48 hours. Still going to be with us Wednesday evening. Looks like Thursday morning it may exit. Potential for some wraparound showers, though, as that system just has so much moisture, it's probably going to leave some behind. So we'll keep the rain chances through Thursday with a high of just 80 there. 70s on Wednesday with the heavy rain. Again, we're looking at widespread two to three inches for some communities. Sunshine returns for Friday and Saturday. A few more pop-up shower and storm chances Sunday and Monday as more instability moves back in.